when you're right underneath that main shadow, that is where totality occurs. With and the solar eclipse that, approaching, many have their heads in the stars. The path of totality is, is nowhere near us. The path this of guy totality never is, gets tired of solar eclipses. Longtime member of the Denver Astronomical Society, media contact person, general geek. Ron Brannick says Denver won't experience totality, but it'll still offer an astronomical view. If people can get to the path of totality, do it. If you can't, well, you can still enjoy at least a partial solar eclipse. But if you're going to get a look, the, you've got to do it right. Plan on taking things like a wide brimmed hat, lather up with sunscreen, and don't forget the lip balm because lips can get sunburned as well. And you can't just look at the sun. You need ISO certified eclipse glasses. You fold them up like regular sunglasses. And by the way, don't use regular sunglasses. That is not good enough. So put these on when you're not looking at the sun. Then look up at the sun. And make sure your telescope has the right filter. Never, ever look at the sun through a telescope without a safe solar filter on it. No glasses? Ron says there are other ways to look at the eclipse. Heck, even a spatula will do. So you just hold this facing the sun and then look at the ground and you'll see during the partial phases of the solar eclipse what looks like crescent moons. Ron says a partial eclipse is a wonder, but if you're able to make the trip to the path of totality, you're in for a view that's out of this world. If you get to totality and it's clear, don't be surprised if you choke up or tear up. Rannick and the folks at the Denver Astronomical Society will be out there with their telescopes and binoculars and, of course, solar eclipse glasses. They want to help you get a good look at the eclipse, too. You're more than welcome to join them next Monday afternoon at the Chamberlain Observatory lawn from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. Rachel Krause, 9 News.